and welcome to our daily news. I'm Gianna. And I'm Jenna. Today we have a special segment on Alfred Adler. We'll be talking about him later in the show, but first we'll give you a little background information on him. Alfred Adler was born February 7th, 1870. I can't believe he's still alive! Yeah, he must be like 144 years old by now. Alfred was born in Vienna, Austria. He had seven siblings and he was the second oldest. Their family was very musical and he had a great singing voice. When we talked to him live, we'll ask him to sing a Christmas song for us. Unfortunately, his younger brother passed away. He attended classical secondary school and received a degree from the University of Vienna Medical School in 1895. Later, he married Raja Epstein, a Russian student. And now to Cecily for the live interview with Alfred Adler. And I'm here live at the scene with the famous Alfred Alder. Hello, my fellow psychology companions. My name is Alfred Adler, an Austrian psychiatrist. I am the father of individual psychology, and I'm here today to talk about my psychology career. So, it says that you brought up the term organ inferiority. Is well, yes. Nice? Yes, I did. Hmm. Can you tell us what that really means? Well, organ inferiority means to describe how people who found themselves born with certain physical defects develop feelings of inferiority and start taking actions to compensate for their weaknesses. For example, some of the weak eyesight might develop interest in visual things as a method of compensation and thus becoming interested in reading. Wow. Fascinating. So, on to the next question. How does superior or superiority complex, what does it really mean to you? Well, superiority complex is an exaggerated feeling of being superior to others. A psychological defense mechanism which allows an individual to overcome or conceal feelings of inferiority. So, do you feel superior because of your magical singing abilities? Yeah, you want to hear a little? I think we do, America! Now baby, all I want for Christmas is you! You, baby! Wow, that was amazing. So, I can't believe you sang so well. Yeah, yeah, I know I'm talented. <laughs> okay, back to the interview. Now, what is your concept of social interest all about? Well, my concept of social interest is my favorite topic. The social, social interest theory is a theory that attempts to explain the relationship between a person and the people I deal with in society. Kids develop a certain degree of social interest as a result of the way they are brought up. However, some kids get subjected to certain conditions that prevents them from developing social interest or that lets them develop minimal social interest. Wow, and you developed this all on your own? Yup, this one was all me. Okay, Alfred. I have one last question before you go. How would you explain avoiding style of life? Well, avoiding style of life is simply about avoiding life's problems. You want us to stay as far away from conflict as you possibly can. Thank you so much, Alfred, for being here with us today. We've really learned a lot from talking with you. Oh, it was a pleasure, ma'am. Thanks for having me. That's all for the segment. Back to you, Jenna and Gianna. Thank you so much, Alfred, for taking time out of your day to have an interview with us. Don't forget that life alert, just in case. Yeah, just in case you fall and can't get up. I'm Jenna. And I'm Gianna. Have a nice day. And happy birthday to everyone celebrating today.